Great. We're going to go ahead and get started. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, I, I'm super excited to share what um, I've learned this past weekend. Um, a bunch of us went to the GoPro. It's a, a seminar where we've met tons of people that are in network marketing and they share their secrets and their magic. And I wanted to take the next 30 minutes to go over everything. If you guys have any questions, uh, please uh, write them down on the chat so we can go over them afterwards. I wanna know if uh, Troy or Lucy, you have anything to say before we get started? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm good, um, Carolina. I'll say something at the very end, okay? Okay, sounds perfect. Yeah, I, I just want to say that I appreciate all you guys on there. I appreciate you guys joining the Holistic Justice League, you know, creating this this tribe, this army of people that are out there, you know, helping people get healthier with organic nutrition. And they're brave enough to go through the blocks, the stigma of network marketing and whatever it is to face yourself and to be consistent um, and to really go after your dreams. I applaud that because I understand, um, you know, not everything is so cut and dry easy. Um, I'm, I'm in business right now. I got my, bit, my book coming out, you know, all my stuff online. I've, I've been monetizing. Mainly I've been monetizing with this, with, with the network marketing for the longest time. The fact of the matter is, you know, nothing's easy. Uh, that you really want uh, here, but this industry is very—it's—it's uh, it's very simple and forgiving. You know, there's a lot of uh, easy entry points in uh, the network marketing. The biggest part is going through your emotional blockages, your your any kind of uh, money issues you may have, um, and this is great training grounds for for life. So I applaud all of you guys for being on this call Sunday morning, and I appreciate each and every one of you for, for being on my team and, uh, you know, being a part of it. And that goes up too, Lucy. So, you know, I can't do this without you guys. And, and uh, Carolina, you're an incredible leader. You, you are a gift to this team be, beyond any words that I can, I can say. So thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Troy. Okay, so um, if you have a pen and paper, that will be great to take some notes and some of the questions and, and things that I will go over. But first, in order for us to have a breakthrough in our lives or in our business, we need a burst of energy. And not only a burst of energy, but we need accountability and we need mentorship. And that's why we're here. You know, we're in this call because we are accountable for our business. We are accountable for our goals and our dreams that are coming, that are unfolding to us. And you have mentorship. You have over 30 years of experience supporting you every day of your life as you're in your business and as our, as our friends, because we're not only business partners, but we're a community, we're family. So let's create a breakthrough in the next couple of weeks so we can start the year super strong and unstoppable let's create a burst of energy within ourselves a kind of accountability find yourself your accountable partner in this business whether it's raw whether it's me whether it's Troy Lucy whether it's your direct upline find that person that you feel comfortable with that will support you in your mentorship Leadership is the engine of this business. It takes about three to four years for someone to become a leader. And it's being tested. We heard hundreds of leaders that stepped into that stage and share their story. And they all share the same journey. It takes three to four years for someone to step fully into their leadership. And that's because they are learning the skills to use the tools that the, the industry and that the company offers. So as you're learning how to enroll people, what to say, how to support your team, what videos to use, what, find, what you find the easiest 
for you to share the opportunity. So I want you to know that you're exactly where you need to be. You are unfolding and blooming to a true leader and that you must be patient with yourself because leadership comes with practice. You have the desire to be a leader. That's why you're here. But it will come to you as you put it into practice. All right? They were very, very specific and making a list, okay? All of us, raw, me, Troy, we all keep telling you to make a list. And that's the first assignment that someone that joins this industry must do. And this is how you start to show your leadership, right? By making this list, you are showing to us that you are worth or time to mentor you, to be accountable for you. So the big three things into making your list, okay? Phone number, email, and social media. Everyone that you meet on a daily day, on a daily basis, you should be getting their phone number, their email, and their social media. Very important, okay? Because this is how you're gonna be able to follow up with these prospects in the future. So you need to have these three things. The main thing into making our list is not to prejudge. Even if you feel the person is negative or you, or you don't like their name, professional network marketers never prejudge their potential leader, okay? If you guys haven't read the Ford Agreements, I'll suggest that you do that. And one of the agreement is don't prejudge, don't make assumptions. Never make assumptions. Everyone deserves the same opportunity and possibility. And opportunities exist because no one wants them. If everybody wanted all the possibilities and opportunities, you wouldn't have one. It will be all taken. So remember that prejudging is the biggest mistake that you can do. Most of you guys think that you don't have enough prospects and that you ran out of prospects very fast. And I heard it many times from you guys. I really reached out to everyone that I could reach out. All right, so that's a complete lie. A professional network marketer never runs out of prospects. If you have 10 prospects, those 10 prospects, I guarantee you that have 10 friends. And when you reach out to those 10 friends, I guarantee you those 10 prospects have another five or 10 or 500 friends. Okay, so we have to learn how to use our list. It's not just reaching out, but do you know someone? Do you have a friend? Or immediately going to their Facebook. And I do this all the time. That's why my list always keeps going. And every month for me, it's, it's a great month because I go into Facebook and I look at my friend's friends. I even go into zip code or I go into city because Facebook can break it down per city. And then I go into LA and then I immediately add all of my friends, friends that are in LA because I know they can come into the happy hour. So keep expanding your list. A professional in this, in this industry adds three people to their list on a daily basis. So that should be your goal. Two to three people added to our list on a daily basis. So you can do this by signing, going out to the beach for a walk. This is how Michael and Lucy Maces do it. Every day, take a walk at the park and meet two people and get their phone number, their email, and their social media. This is how you're gonna be expanding your list every single day. And all those people that you reach out and that are not yet, they will be enrolled to some degree later in the future, whether it is to a th third party tool, an event, a webinar, um, a, a happy hour, a super food social, whatever it is, they will, come, they will come back. And once they come back, you want them to be part of your community. Uh, as Troy mentioned on their last Zoom, you don't just approach pe someone, exactly, like for example, Brett, you don't just go to the girl that you like for the first time and you tell her, hey, Samantha, I wanna marry you. And she's like, what do you mean? You don't even know me. We haven't spoken in 10 years. What do you mean you wanna marry me? So this is the same thing when we approach someone and we wanna sell them our products or we want them to 
join into our business. We, you have to cultivate a relationship. This is the business of friendships, of relationships. So create multiple exposures. It takes four to seven exposures for someone to be enrolled. So you gotta, you know, talk to this girl four to six times before you even ask her to marry you. Or it's been proven online, it takes about 100 exposures for someone to be enrolled. That means 100 stories, 100 Instagram posts. Before someone decides to buy something via social media or online, it will take 100 exposures. All right? So that's why Troy is so good at this because he's consistent. He shows his liquid sunshine. He shows his business opportunity on a daily basis. So someone like me, like I was following Troy, I will see it a hundred times until I decided I want to do it. So consistency is the key. Okay. Expanding our list to professional network marketers should be like a breathing thing. Okay. Breathing means that you can't live without it. If you want to be successful as a network marketer, you got to expand your list. It's, it's like breathing. It's like eating. You will die if you don't, if you, you won't be successful in this business, if you don't expand your list, because this is the people business. Most people are working on jobs that they don't see themselves doing forever. Most people don't know their dream. They're plugged into the matrix and in the machine of working, 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 and they don't see any hope. So when you come and you show your story and you talk about what you have to offer and you help them create their vision, you are actually allowing someone to move forward in their life, okay? So always know that your job is to create the vision for everyone. Help them create their vision because the truth is that most people don't have a mission. They don't have a vision. They don't know what they're doing. And the truth is that they're not, they don't see themselves doing the same job forever. Lucy, when I was eating at the, uh, at the hotel in Vegas, she talked to the cleaning lady that was cleaning up the tables. And she's like, oh, you know, did you see yourself doing this forever? And she's like, no, yeah, yeah, I love health. I love nutrition. She gave her a gift card. Me, I was on the Uber driver. And I was like, when is the high, you know, time of uh, driving right now? And he's like, well, I like to drive at this time because there isn't so much traffic. And I was like, oh, so what else do you do? And, uh, and I asked him questions. What do you like the most about your job? And I keep asking them questions. So he spoke the whole time. I was just listening. And then I asked him, do you see yourself driving Uber forever? And he said, no. And I was like, oh, awesome. Because, you know, I have an opportunity for you that you might like since you, since you uh, have a family and you care about health and yada, yada. And then he's excited. I have a, I have a phone call with him today because he's ready to sign up into the business. This is my Uber driver that was taking me to the convention, to the seminar. Okay. For our list, it's important that we treat our list as part of a, a morning routine. And there's different ways that we can break on our list to get started and take leadership fast. Okay, the first way to separate your list in a category is to find, to think of the 10 easiest prospects in your mind, off the top of your mind. What are the 10 easiest prospects that just because you ask, they will enroll in the business or in, in the product. I have my friend, she, uh, she's my deep friend and we each other support in everything that we do. And just because I ask her, hey, can you just join as a brand partner? I really you know, think that this will be amazing for you. And she's like, really, you think it will be great? Okay, what do I do? And she signed up. So we all have 10 prospects for superfoods to be healthy or for the business opportunity. Just because you ask, they're going to do it. So your job is to think of those 10 people that just because you ask, they'll do it. You can say something, hey, would you be my customer? It will mean the world to me. 
Hey, would you be my customer? You will mean the world to me. Just because you're saying those words, they're gonna say, of course, Brett, you're such a light being. You know, I'll support you in whatever you do. And you're like, great, I have a $50 gift card. All you have to do is spend 25 bucks to support me. And they will do it just because you ask. They will pay the 25 bucks. You know, all of us are afraid of making bold requests and asking people for what you want. And that's leadership number one, ask people for what you want. If you want to go to an event and you need donations, ask us. If you want to sell products to someone, ask them, would you buy this? It will mean so much to me. Okay. You can ask. Also, um, think about the people that you helped in the past. Who you supported in the past. Okay. There's girlfriends that supported me in the past. And I had to go to their event yesterday. Now, my girlfriend, Julia, she came to all my cooking classes. And yesterday, she invited me to her silent wave disco. We danced at the beach with headphones, listening to amazing music. And I went because she supported me, and I have to support her. OK, so reach out to those. Hey, remember when I, you know, I have this new thing. It will mean so much to me if you support me. Don't, don't recall when you help them. They know as deep inside of their heart that, you know, they have to support you back. Also reach out to those people that you're doing business with right now. We are all entrepreneurs. We, are all, we already all have customers. You know, we already have relationships. So reach out to those people you're doing business with now. And this is how I made it to executive uh, right when I started, because I reached out to all those people that I already was doing business with. Hey, I want you to switch this protein. Hey, I, I think that you should switch that green powder that you have in your counter. Uh, so reach out to those people. Very important. Reach out to those that needly, that, that strongly and badly need what we have to offer. There's people that are, you know, super unhealthy, very toxic. There's people that are leaving paycheck to paycheck. 76% of the population leave paycheck to paycheck. Okay, so reach out to those that need what we have badly. And in our industry, because we're in the superfood and super opportunity business-wise, everybody needs what we have. <laughs> so we're, we're kind of blessed that everyone needs what we have. Okay, for the rest, I always say um, split them into three categories. Your hot market, which is your family. I spend over $400 on Christmas shopping for my family, everyone's getting superfoods. And then uh, I know Ra, Ra's mom, she, uh, she bought tons of products for as presents. Everyone's getting presents. So Ra, you see his mom and his mom is like, oh, I'm gonna get superfoods to everyone. So hot market, you know, direct family. The warm market is those people that don't know you that well. Still put them in your list, don't judge them. And then when you have a cold market, and those are all those people that you don't really know how you know them. You know, like I have lots of Instagram followers that I don't even know how I know them, but I know that they've been following me for some time and they're loyal. So I brought those names down. Okay. A professional network marketer stands for education and understanding. And this is something that you have to, you know, really, really get into your mind. When you approach anyone, understanding and, and uh, education. Again, you can't go to someone and tell them, I'm going to marry you or I want to marry you. You have to first educate them about what you're offering, understand where they're at, okay? Understand them, educate them. This is key. This is how you're going to keep doing your exposures, by understanding and by educating them. And then you're going to either invite, me, invite them to an event, invite them to a company call, invite them to a webinar. You can even invite them to these calls. I invited some of my prospects to this call. They didn't show up, but I sent them the link. Some of my Instagram followers, I send them this link and I'm like, hey, I'll, you know, we'll be doing a team gathering. We'll do some training. You're welcome to come, to come on the call and see what we're doing. Check it out for yourself. So... 
education and understanding. Share education, share material, share videos, connect them to people. You are never an expert. A professional network marketer is never an expert. Their upline is the expert, okay? Because everybody knows you as the yoga teacher, they know me as the architect, they know you as the teacher, as the whatever, trainer. So you say, I'm gonna connect you with my upline, I'm gonna connect you with my brand partner, I have an amazing opportunity, you know, I would like to get you in a call with my mentor, you know, has 30 years of experience. So always use your upline as the expert. Okay, why prospects are hesitant to accept invitations? And we always have those prospects that are so hesitant to accept any invitation because they think that we're working with a pyramid scheme or we're just trying to sell them something and they're not ready. And she's like, oh, there she comes again. She's going to try to send, sell me the cleanse, right? I always get those people, oh, she's going to try to send me the power shake again and she won't stop and she won't stop. Again, it has nothing to do with us. They are not ready. They have stories in their head. They, they have too much exaggeration and they're too hyped. They're also too needy and too cheesy. So let them go. Just create your exposures. I had many customers that would avoid me to death. And then they ended up reaching out to me and they're like, oh, I have an ulcer in my stomach. What should I do for my ulcer? Okay. So whenever they calm down and they stop being cheesy and needy, then they're going to see the value. But your job again is to educate as much as you can and to come from an understanding place because everyone is at a different uh, stage. Okay. Professionals, all of us here in this line are professionals. We are professional network markers and you have to say it to believe it because when we say it and we believe it, we create the frequency and we elevate our frequency in our job because we are professional network marketers. So create that vibration within you, all right? Sorry, Solar, it's my dog. He wants to go for a walk. Okay. Professional network marketers ask questions, okay? Our job is to ask questions. Ask questions and teach. Offer them knowledge and ask questions from that place of understanding. Super important. Professional network marketers, we're like farmers more than hunters. You don't just go out in the street and say, oh, I'm gonna enroll this person, I'm gonna enroll this person. Oh, this person's mine, I'm gonna sign them up, I'm gonna sign them up, oh, she's going to buy a cleanse. If we go outside to our communities as hunters, and I am guilty of that, you know? I've noticed that every time I go out, I go like a hunter. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm like very competitive that way, but that's the wrong way to approach it. You know, we are like farmers. We're humble. We teach people. We want to offer them the best vegetable. You know, we come from a place of um, love and compassion and we see where they are. We, un we understand them. We teach them, you know, the little that we know. But people can sense the difference between you trying to hunt them to sign them up and you coming from this place of humbleness. So always remember that when you're approaching someone. All right, to move forward, I have a lot of things that I wanna go through, but I know we don't have much time. And if you guys have some extra time, I would like you to stay. But I wanna talk a little bit about our story quickly. And then five things that we need to look into potential brand partners. All right, so the best way to grow our business, and if you feel your business is stuck right now, it's because you're not working in the business. So if your business is not growing, it's because you're not working, period. Because the business works. It works for me, it works for Troy, it works for Lucy, it works for Raw. So if you're not making money, it's because you're not working, you're not hustling. You gotta triple your investment. To get started as a leader, you have to do that. You gotta put in more time. You gotta set new goals and you need to relaunch your business. The most important thing that we have to share as network marketers is not our product, it's not our, our, our opportunity. It's not the money that you can make. The best thing that we have to offer is our story. And that's why it's super important and we keep saying in every Zoom call that you need to have your story. Your story should be 
amazing enough that you can share it in two minutes, okay? And the way that you can start crafting your story is one, by talking about your background quickly, okay? Your background. I always say I am an architect. I start with my background. I'm a retired underachiever. What are you? Okay, so start off. First couple words with your background. I'm an, I am an ex-business owner. I, I am a, a yoga teacher. What's your background? Okay, so craft that. First couple words about your background. What follows that to that, to that say, what didn't you like about your, your background? What didn't you like about being an architect? Was it the time? Was it um, not enough money? Was it what you had to do? What is it that you didn't like? So I am an architect. I just hated the nine to five. I hated working so many times, so many hours behind a desk. Say what you didn't like, extremely important. Third, share how you found a solution. I joined Purium and my life has transformed. I've created time and space. Now I can work from anywhere in the world and help people be healthy and be compensated. Okay, so share about your solution. And most important, the last part of your two minutes, just say how you feel about the future. Okay, share how you feel about the future. I'm super excited to make a huge residual income and not have to work as much and be able to travel the world and visit my family and eat organic foods. So share how you see your future, okay? Because people want the same thing. The best presenter in the world, the best presenters in the world share their story in two minutes in every single thing that they do. In the Uber driver, I'm an architect. I just hate, I hate the schedule. I hate to be sitting behind a desk and working nine to five and not having any time to live my life. But I manifested the perfect solution. And now I found this company where I can work from anywhere in the world to create residual income as I'm helping people be healthy and create more money. And I see myself traveling the world in uh, making $20,000 a month by being a leader and just guiding people to step into their leadership. Boom, done, that's my story. Very fast, less than two minutes, and you should share it when you get into the Uber, when you walk and you talk to a new person that you just meet at the yoga studio or the Reiki center. You should share this story with the person that you just met at the coffee shop. You should share it before you start any speech in your life. Share your story. Everybody wants to know a little bit about you, right? When people start grabbing the microphone and they start talking, you're like, who's this person? What do they do? Oh, I wonder where she comes from. What's her name? People are going to be preoccupied trying to figure it out. So it's your job to say all of that in less than two minutes. So I suggest that you guys take the time today to really craft your story. Very important. And tell your story a hundred times. Tell it to the mirror, tell it to your friend, tell it to your mom, tell your story a hundred times. Okay, only when you tell your story a hundred times, you'll be able to tell your story from your heart. Okay. Um, the last thing that I wanna go over for today, it's actually two more things. Who deserves your time? I know all of you guys already have brand partners underneath you. So you already have people to, to uh, hold accountable for. And I just want you to know that you, the only people that deserves your time are those that one, are hungry, and two, are coachable. That means if they're hungry, they're going to show up. If they're hungry, they're gonna finish the assignments that you tell them to do. And two, if they're coachable, they're gonna to listen to every single thing that you say. Brenda, it's the most coachable, hungry person that I ever met. 
She, she completes every single assignment. She shows up every single call. She's right now laying in her bed. She shows up at 6 a.m. She shows up to every single company call. She, she shows up to every single thing. And this is what leaders do. And this, this shows how hungry they are. Okay, so if you're slacking, if you're not showing up, if you're not doing what we tell you to do, if you're not listening, you don't deserve our time. And your brand partners don't deserve your time. So quit wasting time where people are not producing because where you put your energy, that's what grows. If you're putting your energy and money in growing the business, you're going to get more money because the energy is, being, is flowing to the money. If you're putting energy to a slacker, someone that is not responding, someone that is not showing up, you're going to keep attracting people that doesn't show up. You're going to keep attracting slackers. You're going to keep attracting people that are not completing assignments and are not listening. Okay, so work with only those that are coachable and that are hungry. If your brand partners are not showing up because they, they, they died, you know, some of you guys die at the end of the month. I, don't, I can't find you anywhere. You disappear. Then you don't deserve our time. Let them go. Find new energy. Find new prospects. Those that are going to help your expansion because your energy is going to be wasted. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to go over is that in order to grow the business, we need to share the business, not the products. If you put in energy into selling the products, you're going to keep selling products. And the way to share this business and to make money and to expand is to only put energy in what you want. So if you want to put energy in selling products, you be my guest, sell products, but you won't prosper in the business. You're going to make quick residual income every Friday, you know, the power shake that your French has bought. But if you want to grow this business, create residual income and have financial freedom, you must only focus on team building. The professional network marketers that I met this weekend don't even sell a product. They don't even sell $200 a month, not even $200. And they're making $1.2 million. So focus on sharing the business opportunity if your goal is to grow the business, all right? And, in order to grow your business for us to be crowns, we need two leaders, only two leaders. If you can find yourself two leaders, you can get to the top in this company. If you want to make over a million dollars, you need 10 leaders. And those 10 leaders need to have these attributes. And I'm going to go over so you can write it down so you can start thinking about them and manifesting them. Because these five attributes is what makes a true leader. All right. The first attribute of a true leader is, in the, is independence. It's independent. This true leader is not going to call you and ask you, what are flex foods? This true leader is not going to call you and say, oh, my brand partner didn't get a paycheck. This true leader is independent. He hustles. He Googles. He calls the company themselves. They're not constantly calling you. They first, they do their own research. I do my own research always before I reach out to Lucy. I, I don't even ask questions to Troy, you know, because I'm resourceful. Two, they're problem solvers. They're, they're not blaming people. They're not needy. They're not complaining. You know, leaders take the problems. They're problem solvers. Usually all the problems come through a leader. So the bigger the problem that you're always facing, the bigger your paycheck. Always remember that, you know? So if you want to make money, you gotta want the big problems. Three, they have consistency, okay? Consistency, they're consistent, they show up, they listen, they, they solve problems. Four, they have a big vision. True leaders have a big vision and their vision is their engine. And then five, they're constantly creating action. Big and true leaders are constantly creating action. So independent, problem solver, consistent, big vision and create action. 
in order to be successful in this business, we need two of those leaders that have those five attributes. So keep that in mind when you make your assessments of people. Does this person have these five attributes? If those persons have those five attributes, they're gonna help you take you to the next level. I wanna open it up to questions. I know there's a couple questions in the chat. If you wanna um, talk, if please unmute yourself. If any questions you may have. Okay, so what I'm proposing is that all of us, since we are all leaders, because we showed up into this phone call, is to create a, an action, which means to relaunch our business. A lot of us have been a little stanchions, but we have the opportunity to make a relaunch. And just as any business, when they open up, they, they have a grand opening. Right, Brenda, when you open your salon, you probably had a grand opening. Raw when you solar. When we have our, our our business, everyone has a grand opening, right? So so does our business. This is our business. We are our own boss. So we need to create a grand opening for our business. And it's it's just us making a post, sharing people, hey, I just opened my business. And I'm super excited. I would like for you to try some of the, the products that I'm doing, or I'd like you to uh, look at the business opportunity that I have to offer. But do a relaunch of your business, get started over. We get to start over. Reset, and we get to start over from the beginning, manifesting all the- There's a lot of noise on the line. Uh, no, it was Lucy. <laughs> Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Raw, would you like to say anything? Lucy? Um, yeah. Um, uh, my gosh, um, Carolina, what a great job you're doing right now. It's like I was at the seminar again. Uh, you did a really, really good job. Thank you so much. And I do appreciate everybody that's here. And we always reward people for being here on time. So guess what? I'm gonna put my phone number on the chat, send me your address, and I'm gonna send you uh, a book, the book of the GoPro. If you already read the book, if you already have the book, guess what? Pass it to one of your leaders, okay? If you need one in Spanish, put it in the chat, and I'll send you in Spanish or in English, or maybe I'll send you both. Reward people for showing up, it's huge, and I, in my business, at least in my business, I always reward people that shows up. So I'm gonna send you that. So I'm gonna put my phone number on the on the chat and then uh, send me your address or send me your ID number and that will do it. I'll look in the in the downline and then I'll, I'll see. So everybody that's here is gonna receive a little present from Mike and I. And thank you so much, Carolina, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lucy. That book is incredible. And it has all the scripts and questions that your guys are always asking. So what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? So if you read that book, you're literally going to have all these answers. Like, what did you like the best? It's not about what do you think about it. It's what do you like the best? You don't give them an option of what do they think about it. It's only what do you like the best, you know? And from on a scale 1 to 10, where are you at now? How, how much would you need to earn if I was to offer you a job opportunity? You know, this book is incredible because it's full of these questions and those scripts. So thank you so much, Lucy. Anyone else? Hey, do you have any more, can you elaborate on what relaunching our business means? For everybody, is there any other ideas or inspirations you can offer besides a grand opening? Like how, for someone who's been in Perium for let's say six months, what does that look like relaunching? Uh, it means that um, we put our business out there. Uh, we start sharing it and the way to do that is that we can create campaigns, we can create a webinar, we can create a live, we can create um, 
any sort of event. So you start talking about your business, your new business. So we can do a webinar. You can do a live where you start promoting it way ahead of time, right? You don't just create a grand opening and you um, share it the same day. Hey, by the way, I just opened. This is my grand opening today. You promote it, okay? So you invite people to your Zoom. You invite people to this uh, live. You you put in, make a post on your social media that says, hey, I was an architect. Uh, I just started my own business. If you guys need my services, please feel free to reach out. We inform people that we are... We have a business. I know most of you guys have never done an, a, a grand opening of your business. All of a sudden, you are in the superfood business. All of a sudden, you own a superfood store. All, all of a sudden, you own you know, a network marketing business without ever you know, telling people, oh, actually, I just created my own business. Now I'm a, I just became, I became a professional network marketer. So you can do this by creating a webinar, make an event, a non-negotiable Zoom, you know, your family must be there. You know, it's your, it's your grand opening. It's non-negotiable for those people in your closed market. You know, your best friend will come to support you. You know, all these, you know, call, you know close uh, people in your community will come to your lounge, to your webinar, to your Zoom, uh, whatever you decide to do and you ask them to bring one person. So let's say you invite 50 people, it's mandatory that they bring a guest. So now you just duplicate it, your, your, your attendance. Or if you invite five, your, five of uh, your brand partners, so if you invite five, your sister, you ask them to please bring five people each. Like, don't be afraid to make bold requests. I literally, text every single one. I text people that I've been texted for a year straight and they haven't responded. Cause I go back into the history and I see that I invite them to every single thing in my life. So I just, I, I want to elaborate on that. Um, yeah. The bolder I get, the more ballsy I get, even if it's counterintuitive because look, I've been in network marketing for 13 years. I've, I've heard so much. Is this a pyramid scheme? scam blah 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 so even even i you know have that you know afraidness inside of me and whenever i jump that over so for example i did a i did a, a post with you carolina on november 30th i recommend everybody go back and review that it was one of my most popular posts normally i i i average like i think about three or four thousand views per video this one with me and you, Carolina, got uh, almost 11,000 and many comments. People were interested. People, even if they're not interested, they support me in what we're doing. And so creating an army, you know, uh, uh, the Holistic Justice League, an army of wellness warriors, you know, however you frame it. And the other thing is, is I have my own fears of, of that post being successful or getting flack back from people, you know, as it is selling all my programs for my online programs, people are like, oh, you're all about the money. I get a, I get a handful of those. I get a bazillion others of thank you for so much for changing my life. So, you know, my advice is really go for the juggler. Listen to what Carolina is saying. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to be much more vocal. I'm releasing this video and another video that Carolina and I did straight on the business. I think uh, coming into the new year, the end of December, the next two weeks, me and Carolina are going to be on the video and we're going to be leading with the business. You know, she, w she just went out to a multi-million dollar seminar with all these people and that's what they're, th that's what they're telling you is, is the truth. These guys are building multi-million dollar uh, businesses and newsflash guys, they're all selling garbage. Because most of the stuff out there on the market is absolute garbage. So if they can make million dollar businesses and billion dollar companies selling garbage, you know, it's time us, you know, hippie do-gooders get off our butts and really start leading with the business. Network marketing is a dream. 
I've been in it for 13 years and I've always made money in it. Always. Minimum $1,000 a month. Minimum. And so let's just all commit to getting out of our own way and going out of our comfort zone because you'd be surprised who crawls out of the woodwork wanting to make more money. I think money is more important than health to most people because we've all heard, I don't have the money, right? Okay, great. I got a solution for that. So start leading with the business. You're going to start seeing that on Certified Health Not Brand because health is wealth and having wealth in this world is essential to having any semblance of health right now. So uh, thank you, Carolina. You fired me up. I'm fired up <laughs> even, even more than I ever was. And uh, we're going to kick butt, man. And we're going to help the world get healthy and help the world get wealthy. We're going to help. Everything comes down to consciousness. And we're only conscious to the degree we're healthy. And if you can't afford your basic nutrition or your ba you, can't, you can't afford to pay attention, then how can you be healthy? So this goes hand in hand. Let's lead, guys, because there's other people crushing it with garbage. Yeah, totally. You know, just repeat. I am whatever it takes. I am whatever it takes. Speed is power. People need culture as much as they need breath. Remember that people need culture as much as they need to breathe. It's our human condition. We need culture. Increase your frequency and take more action. Okay, stop breathing more, meditating, make, doing affirmations, and you are whatever it takes, and you'll do the best that you can always, okay? All right, any last question, thoughts? We'll wrap it up. Okay. Awesome. Have an amazing Sunday. Send me a message or your direct diamond above you, raw, Lucy, me, Choi, whoever it is, and uh, we'll help you through whatever you need. And yeah, I love you all. Thank you. Thank you, Carolina. Yeah.